Are you wondering what some of the best neighborhoods are in El Dorado Hills? Well, stick around because today we're covering the top five neighborhoods in El Dorado Hills, California. Let's check it out. What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. We are Lance and Lauren with L2 Home Group and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. We are dropping new videos every Tuesday and Friday on what it's like to live in Sacramento and the surrounding areas like El Dorado Hills, Folsom, Granite Bay, and Davis. On top of making these videos, we are also licensed real estate agents in the state of California, which means that as much as we love making these videos for you, we love helping you more move or relocate to the greater Sacramento area. So there should be a phone number popping up. We are the ones that answer those phone calls, emails, and text messages. We absolutely love it when you guys reach out to us, shoot us that phone call, shoot us that text, or send us that email. Or if it's easier for you, schedule a Zoom call with us. All right, so jumping right into it, El Dorado Hills is an awesome community. Now we have done a few videos in the past on El Dorado Hills, like pros and cons and what it's like living here. But today we're gonna cover some of the awesome neighborhoods that you can find in El Dorado Hills. Now keep in mind, these neighborhoods are in no particular order. These are just some of our favorite neighborhoods, some of the neighborhoods that we've helped people move or relocate to. There's only gonna be five of them. We know that there's many more neighborhoods in El Dorado Hills that are awesome. We're just gonna highlight our top five, five neighborhoods that we've helped people move to, relocate to, neighborhoods that we think are a little awesome. So jumping right into it. So the first neighborhood that we're gonna be jumping into is gonna be Blackstone. Now Blackstone is gonna be located south of Highway 50. It's gonna be east of Latrobe Road. And the nice thing about this neighborhood is it's only gonna be just around two miles away from the El Dorado Hills Town Center. Now we highlighted the El Dorado Hills Town Center on a couple of our last videos, but being super close to that El Dorado Hills Town Center makes it nice and convenient. You can do a lot of your shopping. You can do, you know, you can go to the movies, go to restaurants. So there's a ton of nice little features just being that you're only less than two miles away from the El Dorado Hills Town Center. So some of the features about this neighborhood is that it's a nice gated community. You're gonna have a clubhouse. That clubhouse is gonna have three pools. It's gonna have a fitness facility. It's gonna have a spa. And there's gonna be tons of walking trails and biking trails that are gonna be sprinkled throughout the neighborhood and through those rolling hills sitting on the hillside of Blackstone. There is gonna be an HOA here and that HOA is gonna cover the fitness facility. It's gonna cover the gates. And I believe that HOA is right around $130 a month. So there's just gonna be a little over 1,400 homes here, and those homes are gonna range in size and price. Right now, currently in the market, the active homes listed for sale here are gonna be anywhere from the low end of 839,000 all the way up to 1.5 million. Some of these homes were built between 2008 and the latest home being built in 2020, and then the size ranges anywhere from 2,000 square feet all the way up to 3,700 square feet. I would say some of my favorite things about Blackstone is that some of these houses have amazing views of the Sacramento Valley, that you can see all the way down to downtown Sacramento. Again, we said you have tons of awesome walking trails, biking trails, and then being that you're that close to the El Dorado Hills Town Center. So some of our favorite restaurants are on that strip, Sienna, Milestone Restaurant. There's just a ton of different little boutique shops and just different restaurants that are located within the town center. You got the movie theater at one end, you got a nice little pond that's there, and then you've got all your different grocery stores, shopping, Starbucks, everything that you need is gonna be in that town center. So the second neighborhood we wanna highlight in El Dorado Hills is gonna be the Promontory. Now we're at the Promontory Community Park right now. This is an awesome park that's located centrally around all of the homes in this neighborhood. Now the Promontory neighborhood is going to be located on the north side of El Dorado Hills, close to Folsom Lake, just south of Green Valley Road. The Promontory neighborhood is sprinkled around this Promontory Community Park. Now this neighborhood has gated communities that sit kind of up on the hillside that also have a view looking down towards the park or looking kind of out. From some of these homes, when you're up on top of the hill, you can actually see views out to Folsom Lake, which is gonna be kind of back into our left. You can't see it from the park right now, but um, we'll throw up some drone footage where you can actually see the, you see Folsom Lake from some of these houses and some of these gated communities. Right now at the time of making this video, there aren't very many homes for sale in this neighborhood. However, there are some. Now homes in this neighborhood range in price from 780,000 up to $2.3 million. And they range anywhere from 2,500 square feet up to 4,300 square feet. So you can really find a nice, awesome, large home in this neighborhood. Now, the cool thing about this neighborhood is that you're super close to one of the main entrances to Folsom Lake on the El Dorado Hillside. So if you like to go boating or if you like to spend the day out on the water, this would be a great neighborhood to be at because it won't take you that long to get out to the water. So the nice thing is with this neighborhood too, 
being that it's close to the lake, you're also close to one of the other main shopping centers on the north side of El Dorado Hills. So there's a Safeway, there's a gas station, there's some restaurants that are sprinkled in there, there's El Dorado Saloon. So tons of different restaurants here as well too. You're not just kind of out in the middle of nowhere or in the dead center of like a residential neighborhood where you're gonna have to drive 10 or 15 minutes to get to you know some kind of eating or grocery shopping. Yep, and they're close to Starbucks. So the third neighborhood that we're gonna highlight on our list is gonna be El Dorado Hills North. Now this is gonna have a couple of little sub neighborhoods that are gonna be within it like Lakeside, it's gonna have Waterford, it's gonna have Marina Village. Now this neighborhood's gonna be located on the north side of Green Valley Road and it's basically gonna butt right up to Folsom Lake. So a lot of these homes in here also have awesome views of Folsom Lake, but there's gonna be just different types of architectural styles. These homes are gonna be built anywhere from 1970 all the way up to 1999. Some of the homes may look similar to other homes Homes, but for the most part, this neighborhood's gonna have a lot of different uniqueness. It's gonna have a lot of different character. Your neighbors aren't gonna look like they have the same homes. Like you're, you're not gonna look like you have the same house as your neighbors. So there's gonna be a little bit more uniqueness to the neighborhood. So the main reason why this is one of our favorite neighborhoods is due to the proximity you are to Folsom Lake. And then the way they thought out this neighborhood or the way they built out this neighborhood is they still maintained a lot of the different nature and the beauty. So if you've ever been out to Folsom Lake, you know, Folsom Lake has a lot of beautiful oak trees, a lot of different vegetation around there. And what they did when they built this neighborhood is they kind of maintained a lot of that vegetation and a lot of that nature. So that way you're not feeling like you're just in a, just a track home subdivision, but you're actually still kind of right there bordered to the lake. So that's definitely one of the main reasons why we love this neighborhood. Your proximity to Folsom Lake is super close. Some of these homes have awesome views of Folsom Lake. The other side has awesome views of the valley. And then there are some homes that actually have access to get you down to Folsom Lake as well. Now, like we said, a lot of these homes are gonna be built between 1970 and 1999, and they're gonna be kind of comprised of any, you know, anywhere from medium to large size homes. So some of these homes are gonna be kind of in that three, four bedroom range. Some of these homes are gonna be five plus. So it really just kind of depends on what you find at the time that you're looking in this neighborhood. So the cool thing about this neighborhood is there's not a ton of turnover, but you can have a widespread of uh, different kind of variations. So you can find homes that are as low as the low 700 thousands, and you can go all the way up to 1.9 million. And sometimes the difference between the $700,000 home and the $1.9 million home is gonna be what type of views, what kind of lot size you have. So, you know, you can still find a really good home in this neighborhood. It's not gonna overprice you, even if you wanna be close to Folsom Lake. Um, I believe there's also a fixer in here for in the low sevens as well too. So definitely a lot of opportunity. You're gonna have a lot of equity in this neighborhood um, and you're gonna have a lot of uniqueness and variety. It's not gonna be the same cookie cutter house for each house in this neighborhood. For example, the cool thing about that $1.9 million house is it's kind of a sprawling estate. It's got awesome views and it's got this amazing pool that has like an infinity edge on it. So a lot of different range that you can get in this neighborhood. Now, the fourth neighborhood that we're going to highlight is going to be Serrano. Serrano is going to be north of Highway 50. It's going to be located between El Dorado Hills Boulevard and Bass Lake Road, and it's going to have Silva Parkway that runs right through the middle of it. The majority of Serrano is going to be part of a gated community. And now there are gonna be two separate sides. One's gonna be Serrano North and the other one's gonna be Serrano South. Both have a different vibe and a different feel. Serrano North is gonna be primarily around the Serrano Country Club. Those homes are gonna be under a guard gated community. Serrano South, there's still gonna be a gated community, but there's no guard um, as it relates to the security aspect of the homes. Both neighborhoods are beautiful neighborhoods, just one's gonna have a little bit more higher end, more luxurious feel. They're gonna be these massive sprawling estates, whereas the Southern side are still gonna be beautiful, massive homes. They're just gonna have a little bit different of a vibe and a feel to the neighborhood. They're gonna be a little bit more of your semi-custom or your kind of track style homes where some of the homes in Serrano North are gonna be more of your custom. So within both of those neighborhoods, if you combine them together, there's gonna to be a massive spread of homes that are gonna range from the high 900s all the way up to $4 million. Now these $4 million homes are gonna be custom homes. Some of them are actually spec homes where these builders are coming in, they purchase the lots, and they're still allowing the buyer to actually choose some of the features and finishes. They have all the renderings, all the designs, but they're gonna be massive, you know, three, 4,000 plus square foot homes, six bedroom homes. So definitely a wide variety of different home styles that you can choose from. 
Now, if you decide to be a member of Serrano Country Club, you're gonna have access to an 18 hole golf course that's a private golf course. You're gonna have fitness facilities, dining options, you're gonna have uh, tennis courts. So you're gonna have all those same amenities that you would have normally in a country club. You don't have to live in Serrano North to be a part of that country club. You can live in any of El Dorado Hills, but that's one of the highlights to, to being in Serrano is you're super close to that country club, super close to that golf course. So the last neighborhood that we're gonna talk about is a brand new neighborhood that's being built in El Dorado Hills. It's by Toll Brothers and it's called Hidden Ridge. This is an absolutely gorgeous community with amazing homes. This new neighborhood is on the east side of Bass Lake Road right before you get to Cameron Park. All right, so this neighborhood is gonna be a part of the Rescue Union School District for the elementary and the middle school. And it'll be a part of the El Dorado Union High School District for the high school. These homes are a part of a gated community that feature high-end luxury living. Now they have single story options available as well as two story options. And let me tell you, both of the models that we walked through were absolutely stunning. Even the smaller single story was a gorgeous home that was beautiful. Toll Brothers builds an awesome and amazing home. So these, this particular community has four different floor plans. They have two single stories, they have two two stories. And these homes are gonna range anywhere from the low 1 millions all the way up to 1.25 million, with the smallest floor plan being right around 3,000 square feet up to 4,400 square feet. So we do understand that this is a brand new community, but we definitely wanted to highlight some of the new homes that are also available for sale in El Dorado Hills. I'm sure that this neighborhood is gonna be a great addition to some of the other neighborhoods that are in El Dorado Hills, but we wanted to make sure that we still highlighted at least one new home community. Well, that was just a small portion of some of our favorite neighborhoods in El Dorado Hills. Now, I know we didn't get to highlight all of them, and there are probably some other neighborhoods that didn't make it onto this list that are awesome as well. Go ahead and leave a comment down below what your favorite neighborhood in El Dorado Hills are. But if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the greater Sacramento area, El Dorado Hills, Folsom, or anywhere in between El Dorado Hills and Sacramento, there should be a phone number popping up. Give us that call, shoot us that text, or send us that email. We absolutely love creating a game plan, connecting with you, and figuring out how we can make the move to the greater Sacramento area a little bit easier for you guys. So again, that number should be popping up. We are the ones that answer those phone calls, emails, and text messages, and we absolutely love it when you guys reach out to us. So give us that call, shoot us that text, or send us that email. Enjoy your week or your weekend, and we'll see you on the next one.